Let's start with a simple question. Have you ever unfollowed or deleted a friend on social media because of their political or religious views? But ask yourself, is this the only reason we break ties with others? Have you ever felt unable to understand or accept someone because their lifestyle or choices differ from yours? Or have you ever chosen silence out of fear of being misunderstood or criticized, refraining from expressing your true thoughts and feelings? Indeed, these situations have become all too common in today's society. We live in an era of information overload and divergent opinions, where our dialogues often end before they begin, breaking apart before understanding is reached. It seems increasingly difficult to find a common language for communication, to hear each other's voices amidst differing ones. So, how should we respond to such challenges? How can we find that inner peace amidst the clash of differing viewpoints? Tonight, let's explore the answers to these questions together. As we can see, our daily communication and interpersonal relationships are often challenging. However, Stoic philosophy offers us a unique perspective and methods to improve the way we communicate. The core of Stoic philosophy is to recognize and accept things we cannot control, while focusing on what we can control, our own thoughts and actions. When communicating with others, we cannot control their thoughts, feelings or reactions, but we can control our own attitude and approach. Stoicism emphasizes internal self-reflection and discipline. By practicing these principles, we can learn to listen to others better, understand and respect different viewpoints. This helps us to build deeper and more sincere relationships and become wiser and more insightful communicators. Before we delve into how to optimize communication, let's first consider how social media and modern technology have profoundly changed the way we interact. In today's era, our lives are closely intertwined with social media, which seems to have become our primary means of expressing ourselves and understanding others. But has this convenient form of communication truly brought us closer together? Social media allows us to share snippets of our lives instantly, but it also creates a superficial and sometimes even false social interaction. We meticulously craft our image behind screens, neglecting the authenticity and depth of face-to-face -face conversations. The cold, emotionless nature of technology often makes us overlook empathy and emotional resonance in our dialogues. Faced with such changes, how do we reclaim that true interpersonal connection? How do we maintain our humanity and depth in the fast-paced digital world? These are the questions we need to reflect on and explore. As we explore the art of communication, an inevitable topic emerges before us, the divergence of opinions. In this diverse world, everyone has their own unique viewpoints and beliefs. These views and beliefs are like compasses of our souls, guiding our thoughts and actions. However, when these compasses point in different directions, we begin to create rifts with others. We often find ourselves in a dilemma, swinging between sticking to our own views and accepting those of others. Our conversations gradually lose their intended vibrancy amidst disputes and misunderstandings. Our perception of each other becomes confined to a series of labels and stereotypes. So how do we break this deadlock? How can we maintain our own stance while also giving enough understanding and respect to others? This is not only a challenge to our communication skills, but also a test of the capacity for tolerance and understanding deep within our souls. The application of Stoic philosophy in communication can be seen as a profound journey of the soul. It is not just about the exchange of words, but also about the communication of the inner world. In this journey, we learn how to apply the wisdom of Stoicism to every conversation in our daily lives, achieving self-growth and harmony of the soul.
This ancient philosophical school teaches us that true communication is not just the transmission of information, but the exchange of emotions, thoughts, and souls. When we converse with others, we are not just sharing words. We are sharing our feelings, thoughts, and perspectives on life. Stoicism helps us realize that every interaction is an opportunity for self-awareness and self-presentation, as well as understanding others. Guided by Stoicism, we can gain a deeper understanding of the essence of communication. This philosophy not only helps us be more sincere and clear in expressing ourselves, but also teaches us how to listen to others, feeling their emotions and viewpoints. It reminds us that through communication, we can bridge the boundaries of individuals and achieve a connection of souls. In conclusion, I believe we can improve our communication in the following five ways. Number one, accepting differences. Accepting differences holds a crucial place in Stoic philosophy. This school of thought teaches us that each person has their own perspective and worldview. In this diverse world, differing opinions and viewpoints are not only natural, but also our precious treasures. In the face of differences, we learn to appreciate rather than hastily reject, which is a basic respect for the dignity of others and a true recognition of diverse values. Stoicism emphasizes that the ability to understand and accept different viewpoints is a significant manifestation of wisdom. We should not seek to make everyone's thoughts uniform, but learn to find resonance and understanding amidst differences. Through this approach, we can not only broaden our horizons, but also build deeper interpersonal relationships based on mutual respect and understanding. Guided by Stoicism, we learn to maintain an open and inclusive attitude in communication. We no longer view our opinions as the absolute truth, but are willing to listen, understand, and even appreciate others' different perspectives. This attitude not only promotes personal spiritual growth, but also contributes to the harmonious development of society. Number two, internal reflection. Stoic philosophy consistently reminds us to introspect before engaging in any form of communication. Our thoughts and reactions are often colored by subjective emotions and personal biases. Through self-reflection, we gain a clearer understanding of ourselves, which is crucial in ensuring our communications are not inadvertently harmful or misunderstood. Stoicism teaches us the value of looking inward to understand our true motivations and emotional states. It encourages us to question not just what we think, but why we think it. This deeper level of self-awareness allows us to communicate more authentically and effectively. It helps us recognize our own fallibility and opens us up to the possibility that we can grow and learn from every interaction. Moreover, internal reflection fosters a sense of humility and empathy. By acknowledging our own imperfections, we become more empathetic towards others. We start to appreciate the complexity of human emotions and thoughts, and this understanding enriches our interactions, making them more meaningful and fulfilling. By practicing Stoicism's principle of internal reflection, we not only improve our communications, but also enhance our relationships with others and our own sense of self. Number three, control the controllable. In the realm of communication, a key tenet of Stoic philosophy is the understanding that while we cannot control others' thoughts and reactions, we have the power to control our own attitudes and responses. This philosophy teaches us to focus on our own actions and reactions, facing the challenges that arise in communication with tranquility and rationality. Stoicism encourages us to cultivate a sense of inner stability and calmness, regardless of external circumstances. It reminds us that our emotional responses are within our control and that we can choose how we react to the words and actions of others. This self-mastery is crucial in maintaining not only our peace of mind, 
but also in fostering constructive and respectful dialogues. Moreover, by focusing on what we can control, we free ourselves from the unnecessary stress of trying to change or influence what is beyond our reach. This approach enables us to engage in communication with a clear mind and a focused approach, ensuring that our interactions are guided by reason and not clouded by uncontrolled emotions. In practicing control over our responses, we embody the stoic ideal of emotional intelligence. This not only enhances our capability to communicate effectively, but also empowers us to navigate through life's diverse interactions with grace and composure. Number four, listening and empathy. True listening, as championed by Stoic philosophy, is far superior to hurried responses. In communication, Stoicism emphasizes the paramount importance of showing respect and understanding towards others. Listening is not merely about hearing the words spoken by others. It's about understanding and feeling their emotions and perspectives. This philosophy guides us to listen with our whole being, engaging not just with our ears, but with our hearts and minds. It teaches us the art of being present in the moment, fully attentive to the speaker, free from the distractions of our own thoughts and judgments. In doing so, we open ourselves to truly comprehend the essence of what is being communicated. Moreover, Stoicism encourages us to cultivate empathy, the ability to put ourselves in another's shoes. This involves more than understanding someone's words. It's about grasping the underlying emotions and motivations behind those words. When we listen with empathy, we bridge the gap between individuals, creating a space for mutual understanding and connection. By embracing the stoic practice of listening and empathy, we transform our conversations into meaningful exchanges that go beyond the superficial. We foster deeper connections, leading to more fulfilling and harmonious relationships, both personally and professionally. Number five, seeking common ground. In our dialogues, we should endeavor to find shared values and principles. Stoic philosophy reminds us that even amidst disagreements, it is possible to discover resonance and connection. This pursuit of common ground is instrumental in fostering deeper understanding and bonds. Stoicism teaches us that beneath the surface of conflicting opinions lie fundamental human experiences and aspirations that we all share. By focusing on these underlying similarities, we can transcend superficial differences. This approach encourages us to empathize with others, to see beyond our individual perspectives, and to appreciate the universal human qualities that bind us. Moreover, seeking common ground is not about compromising our beliefs, but about finding a harmonious balance where diverse views can coexist. It's about creating a space where dialogue can flourish, free from the constraints of ego and rigid positions. In practicing this stoic principle, we cultivate a more inclusive and compassionate way of interacting with others. We learn to appreciate the richness that different perspectives bring to our lives, turning potential conflicts into opportunities for mutual growth and enrichment. Embracing this approach can transform our personal relationships, our workplaces, and our communities. By seeking common ground, we build bridges of understanding, paving the way for a more cooperative and connected world. To embrace the stoic approach in our daily conversations, we must adopt specific communication skills and practices. Stoicism isn't just a philosophy. It's a practical guide to enriching our interactions with others. Firstly, Stoicism teaches us the art of thoughtful speaking. Before we utter a word, we should ask ourselves, is it true? Is it necessary? Is it kind? This reflective practice ensures that our words contribute positively to the conversation, avoiding harm or misunderstanding. Secondly, the Stoic practice of mindfulness plays a crucial role. Being fully present in our conversations means actively listening, not just waiting for our turn to speak. 
It's about engaging with the speaker, showing genuine interest in their words, and responding thoughtfully. Another key aspect is the practice of empathy. Stoicism encourages us to try and understand the emotions and motivations behind others' words. This doesn't mean just sympathizing, it's about truly attempting to see the world from their perspective. Additionally, managing our reactions is vital. Stoicism advises us to respond, not react. When faced with challenging conversations, take a moment to pause, reflect, and choose a response that aligns with your values and the principles of Stoic wisdom. Lastly, asking open-ended questions is a Stoic technique that fosters deeper understanding. These questions encourage others to elaborate on their thoughts and feelings, leading to more engaging and meaningful conversations. By integrating these skills and practices into our daily dialogues, we uphold the Stoic ideals in our communication, leading to more fulfilling and profound interactions. In addressing how to maintain calmness and rationality in the face of conflict and differing opinions, Stoic philosophy offers invaluable guidance. It teaches us not just to survive such situations, but to thrive within them by cultivating a mindset of equanimity and understanding. Firstly, Stoicism teaches us the importance of perspective. In the heat of conflict, it's easy to lose sight of the bigger picture. Stoicism encourages us to step back and view the situation objectively, reminding us that most disputes are minor in the grand scheme of things. Secondly, the practice of self-control is crucial. Stoicism advises us to manage our immediate emotional reactions. This doesn't mean suppressing emotions, but rather acknowledging them and not allowing them to dictate our responses. By staying composed, we can approach conflicts with a clear mind, focusing on solutions rather than getting entangled in emotional responses. Additionally, Stoicism advocates for empathetic understanding, recognizing that the other person's viewpoint is shaped by their experiences and beliefs, just as ours are, can foster a more compassionate approach to resolving disagreements. Furthermore, Stoicism emphasizes the power of reasoned dialogue. Instead of resorting to heated arguments, it suggests engaging in calm, reasoned discussions where each party listens and seeks to understand the other's perspective. Finally, accepting that we cannot control others, but only our reactions, is a fundamental Stoic principle. This acceptance empowers us to respond to conflicts and differences with patience and wisdom, rather than frustration and anger. Be integrating these Stoic practices. We can transform our approach to conflicts and disagreements, turning potentially negative experiences into opportunities for personal growth and improved understanding. In conclusion, Stoic philosophy offers profound insights into elevating both personal and societal communication levels. It teaches us that true communication extends beyond mere words. It encompasses understanding, empathy, and respect for differing viewpoints. By embracing the Stoic principles in our daily interactions, we open ourselves to a world of deeper understanding and more meaningful connections. Stoicism encourages us to reflect before we speak, to listen more than we talk, and to approach every conversation with an open heart and mind. This philosophical approach transforms ordinary exchanges into opportunities for personal growth and mutual understanding. As we integrate these Stoic principles into our lives, we not only improve our own communication skills, but also contribute to a more harmonious society. We create an environment where different ideas and perspectives are not just tolerated, but valued and explored. I urge you, the audience, to practice these Stoic principles in your daily lives. Embrace the art of thoughtful speaking, the power of active listening, and the strength of empathy. Remember, every conversation is a chance to learn, grow, and connect. 
Let us all strive to be better communicators, not just for ourselves, but for the betterment of our communities and society at large. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like and share it. Don't forget to subscribe for more content on how Stoic principles can enhance your life. Until next time, embark on your journey with discipline and resilience, guided by the timeless wisdom of Stoicism.